Hey folks, it's Keith Beardsley, Atory01, back today with another short blog looking at the Liberal Cabinet Shuffle and what are Justin's possibilities as he looks ahead here. Well, first off, we have a new cabinet, Yawn, because really there's not much not much with it. I mean, it's so his so-called economic team, but it doesn't impress anyone. The worst offender is still Minister of Finance, so as long as Krista Freeland's there, nothing's really going to change. The problem for Justin is he can't really fix things at this point. He's pretty well spent all the money he can. We're now seeing the results of that with inflation, with higher interest rates, and so on. He obviously never learned from his father's mistakes. Now, with Pierre Trudeau, it took well over a decade to fix the economy after he sort of trashed it all. And I'm old enough to remember paying mortgage rates of 21.9% when you bought a house. And mortgage rates really going back even into the 90s were up in, you know, the 12 to 14% range. So it's not going to get fixed overnight, even if the Conservatives come in. One, they're going to make some hard choices. You know, when a government is in spending mode and doubling the size of the civil service to carry out all its so-called economic programs, it's going to take a long time. So what are we looking at? Well, for Trudeau, he has to overcome all this negative publicity that he's got. He's seeing in some polls, anyways, the Conservatives 10 points ahead of him. He's playing catch-up. So he has to come in with either some big spending announcements that uh, will look like he's doing something for people. We have Singh sitting on the side, twiddling his fingers while, while the country burns because he doesn't want an election. And as long as the NDP don't want an election, nothing's going to happen. So Trudeau will have to do a poison pill. This is he's going to have to do something that's going to really annoy the NDP. And even if the NDPs are still too chicken to pull him down, he can still say that he can't get Parliament to cooperate and being a minority government, he needs to call an election and so on and so forth. I mean, this this has been done many times before by different prime ministers in different parties. It doesn't matter. It's simply a way to get around things and call an election. So I would suggest for Trudeau, if he's doing this, he, what he will probably do, allow the House to come back, you know, let it sit there a couple of days, then prorogue Parliament on the excuse that he can't get it to work, that the opposition is not doing stuff and, uh, you know, not cooperating in the various committees and all this type of stuff. Prorogue Parliament. Bring it back a couple of days later with a new throne speech. Promise all sorts of things to Canadians. You know, promise to do this, that, the other thing for them, all with their own money, of course. And in other words, increase your spending and then call an election. He's got nothing to lose. What do you think? Keith Beardsley, A Tory 01, wishing you a great day.